If you sell on Amazon, Brand Registry is the single biggest unlock for growth and production. It gives you access to exclusive conversion tools, advanced data to make smarter decisions, and streamlined protection features to remove copycats quickly. Amazon states it prevents uh, most copyright abuse at a scale and the protection team uh, backs it every day. And today I will show you what Brand Registry is and what you get, how to qualify and apply correctly and how to use the tools to increase sales, reduce returns and uh, safeguard your listings. I'll walk you through exact steps uh, we use at Upscale Valley with brands uh, so you can apply them immediately. Brand Registry is Amazon's program for verified brand owners. It's not a guarantee that no one else will ever sell on your ASIN but it gives you a uh, proof of ownership, faster enforcements against uh, bad actors and access to features that raise conversion and lower ad cost. To qualify, you need a registered or filed trademark uh, in the country where you sell. A trademark can be text-based uh, which protects the word or image-based which protects uh, your logo. And you also need an active Amazon Seller Central and the ability to verify ownership via email uh, with a trademark office or attorney of record. You can click on the link above to watch a full detailed video on Amazon IP Accelerator program how it helps a seller uh, filing their trademark and how you can get a serial number after that and how you can connect your trademark with Amazon's brand registry. Before you apply, align three details. Your brand name must match exactly between your trademark, uh, your packaging and the brand attribute on your Amazon listing. Prepare a clear product or packaging photo where the brand is printed or molded, not a Photoshop overlay. Have at least one ASIN drafted under your brand so you can provide uh, it during uh, the enrollment process. And if you are still finalizing packaging, do not misrepresent the product. Build the listing in draft, then finish packaging and shoot a clean brand on pack image. To apply, sign in at brandservices.amazon.com, choose your country and submit your brand name, trademark office, registration or serial number, product images showing branding and a primary ASIN. Amazon may ask uh, where you distribute, whether you license your mark and for brand website URL if available. Amazon will then email the contact on file uh, with the trademark. You will receive a verification code to uh, paste back into the enrollment process. Approval can take uh, like days to week depending on the case. Alright, so here's how you can start enrolling your brand. On Amazon, you have to go to sell.amazon.com slash, uh, slash brand registry. Then you have to click on uh, enroll your brand. And once you click on enroll your brand, this sort of Amazon brand registry dashboard will pop up. And if you have already Amazon brand registry for any of other brands, uh, connected with your uh, seller central it might appear here so right now i'm going to uh, enroll a new brand in amazon brand registry so you have to click on this manage and then enroll a brand and once you click on this enroll a brand and once you click on uh, enroll your brand so this sort of dashboard will come and you have to choose between these two types so uh, i have a pending or registered trademark or i don't have a trademark so uh, amazon is giving option to get started with amazon ip accelerator program so it's a, a program within Amazon Seller Central. You can uh, choose the attorney of your choice that Amazon has suggested that Amazon has verified and you can get your trademark registered through those uh, attorneys. And then later on, you can connect uh, that trademark with your Seller Central. So right now I'm going to go with uh, this option, assuming we have the trademark already registered with the USPTO or any of the trademark office uh, in the respective country you are selling. So I have to click on enroll your brand and once you click on enroll your brand this sort of dashboard this sort of form will come and you have to fill in this form with the uh, appropriate details. So right now I am uh, starting with what is your brand name upload images and uh, you also have to fill in these details. So let's start with this form. So I am putting in my brand name here. So once I have uh, entered my brand name I have to upload a clear logo of my brand if I have. So I'm going to go with this and then Amazon brand registry has uh, automatically detected that in which country I am going to register my brand so right now it's uh, for the US USPTO and now I have to enter the registration or serial number here so uh, from where I can get this once your trademark is registered on USPTO or it's pending uh, you only need a serial number once you start the filing process within uh, the USPTO you get a serial number within a week or so so you have to uh, go to the USPTO trademark search and search for your brand there and then you can simply copy uh, the serial number for your brand for, uh, from the USPTO website so all right I have uh, copied my serial number from USPTO and then I have to paste it in there And once the verified uh, badge will show up, so that means uh, Amazon uh, brand registry has verified your serial number that it's 
actually exist in us pto now you have to proceed with um, the further application now you have to provide a high quality image of your design mark the image should be an exact match to the design mark image on the trademark record and should not be used to upload the trademark certificate so uh, here uh, we have to upload the image that we have provided uspto while registering our trademark so right now i'm going to provide uh, my image so once the image is uploaded i have to choose the category for my brand like i have in which categories i am going to um, like sell in so i have selected multiple categories like apparel uh, baby products beauty and let's say i'm gonna sell in health and personal care as well so i have selected the categories and uh, now i have to provide amazon um, the asins of my listing that are already uh, listed on amazon with this brand name so if i don't have any of the listing i need to uh, leave this field blank and if i already have uh, the listing on amazon with this brand name so i might need to provide the link to uh, that listing and uh, then comes the enter the url to your brand's official website if you have a website you can also paste a link to your uh, shopify store or any of the blog website if you have so it's just increase the credibility of your uh, brand uh, brand filing request uh, and this is for if you if your brand is sold on another e-commerce platform enter the urls like if you're selling on ebay etsy walmart or any of the other um, marketplace you can uh, paste the link to your um, store here and now uh, you have to provide uh, the product images and read this carefully before submitting your application please carefully review the product image requirements and ensure your image uh, fully comply with them so how you can um, like uh, go through this uh, product image requirements you have to click on this uh, and open it up so so here are the product images uh, requirements just let me open up this in next window all right so here i have the product image requirements uh, this is a detailed guide uh, right from amazon's uh, brand registry you can uh, go through this you can uh, just simply read this so uh, overall what we need to provide is we need to provide some images with the actual brand name on it it should not be a photoshopped image it should not be uh, some sort of uh, altered image or not any sort of overlay we need to provide actual images with the actual brand name and logo on it and with a upc as well so uh, you can just uh, study it like uh, we ask that you submit at least one image of your product or product packaging as a part of this application the submitted pictures will be used solely for the purpose of reviewing your application and customers will not have access to them so uh, you have to provide genuine images of your product packaging and different angles held in hand or uh, being put on the table so just let me quickly show you some examples of the best images that you can upload for your products uh, while uh, while like submitting the request for amazon brand registry all right so here's an example of the image you can provide to amazon brand registry while uh, submitting the request for amazon brand registry so you can see that we have the brand name on this we have the brand logo on this and we have the upc and the product uh, is like pretty pretty much clear so here's another example uh, have a look at this we have uh, we have the brand name we have the brand logo and we have the upc and, and the package is being uh, like put on a table so uh, so here's another example you can uh, hold the packaging in your hand with the brand name being uh, visible and the upc and brand logo so this is a uh, sort of images that amazon require for, uh, while uh, registering your brand within amazon brand registry so all right uh, i have uploaded all of the images that i have for my product packaging and then i have to click on next so um, the next phase is the business information you have to um, like provide this information to amazon brand registry the first one is are you a seller or a vendor for the brand you are selling so most of us uh, are using seller central so i'm gonna go with the seller if you are a vendor central user so you have to click on the vendor option and provide um, the required details so once you click on the seller amazon would ask for uh, your merchant token for your seller central so right now i have uh, multiple seller centrals connected with uh, this brand registry account so amazon is automatically showing me uh, suggesting me these uh, store names and with these uh, merchant tokens so you have to uh, enter your merchant id if you are not able to see uh, your uh, seller centrals merchant token in this list all right in this case um, i'm going to register my brand for uh, this specific seller central after clicking on the merchant token 
you need to uh, click on this next and once uh, this sort of uh, dashboard will pop up uh, this is the final step that you need to um, like finish before submitting your request so does your brand sell to distributors so most of us are doing private label so uh, we usually tend uh, to select the no for this option so i'm gonna go with no and where are your brand's products distributed if you if like if you are a sort of wholesaler and you uh, like distribute your products across um, like different countries or within the same country to different retailers so you have to click uh, and you have to select the country that your products are distributed in and then the license information does your brand license trademarks to others who manufacture products associated with your uh, intellectual property so i'm gonna go with no and once i have uh, this form filled i have to click on submit and amazon will then review my application and will get back to me in like maximum four to six days and once approved several high impact tools are accessible uh, the first is a plus content a plus content replaces plain text description with image modules comparison charts and a concise copy that answers objections and shows benefits clearly brands consistently see a lift in conversion with well executed a plus content use it to explain materials sizing compatibility uh, what's in the box and setup steps and pair images with short direct messaging to reduce returns from confusion all right so this is a best example of a well optimized amazon a plus content just have a look at the images clarity and um, the infographics and the detailing in this a plus content so this is how you can uh, replace your plain text descriptions with a plus content once you have the brand registry and you also get a brand store which is a multi-page storefront inside amazon it creates your full catalog seasonal collections and bundles it captures shoppers from sponsored brand ads and amazon post and uh, it keeps them browsing only your products one client at upscale valley added a store and saw a lift of several thousand dollars in attributed store sales in the first month treat the store like a website clear hero images category titles best sellers and comparison charts so buyers choose the right variants at the first time all right so here's the example of a fully optimized amazon storefront of the same brand uh, so as you can see this brand has a lot of categories uh, you can just uh, position your categories on the home page of your storefront like this you can also add multiple sub pages for different categories different products and you can also add a video on uh, this page so overall the storefront is something that you need uh, for more conversions for uh, more brand visibility and uh, the branding element in your category and once you have a brand registry advertising expands with sponsored brands and sponsored display and sponsored brands video ads these ad types uh, sit at the top of search and drive traffic into your store or a product page and when paired with a well-structured uh, storefront and strong a plus content sponsored brand ads can lower your cost per acquisition because um, the path from ad to decision is cleaner and more controlled all right so here's an example of sponsored brand video ad in the headline so uh, this is the top of the search ad and as you can see uh, this brand is uh, using a video ad in the sponsored brand headline so you can uh, use such sort of videos in the headline ads to uh, direct buyers from here from the search result page to directly to your amazon uh, storefronts or any of the uh, particular listing if you want so this is a strong tool if used properly and brand registry opens brand analytics and brand metrics and amazon brand analytics includes amazon search terms dashboard item comparison alternate purchases and uh, like add to cart ratio for your brand and comparison with other brands you can use search terms to see uh, which keywords drive the most clicks and purchases for your brand so you can prioritize them in titles bullets and sponsored product ad as well and uh, use item comparison and alternate purchases to identify your uh, closest competitors and to decide where to run product targeting ads or not and to watch a detailed video on how to extract the most valuable data available in the seller central for your products uh, in the form of search query performance report you can click on the link above to watch a detailed video on this and you can manage your experiments it lets you a b test main images titles and a plus content do not guess test one element at a time and keep the winner and over time uh, this raises click through rates and conversion without increasing ad spend and we can use amazon post feature amazon post is a free traffic feature that places lifestyle images of your products on detail page and we can use uh, the amazon post feature amazon post is a free traffic feature that places lifestyle images of your products on the related detail pages and uh, your store feed and these are accessible once your brand is registered 
and brand registry gives you tools to grow and protect your brand you can send uh, targeted promos or updates to brand followers recent buyers or cart abandoners you can track sales from google facebook tiktok email or your own website with amazon attribution and earn a free credit with uh, the brand referral bonus you can bundle two to five products into the one offer and use subscribe and save to get repeat orders and you can fight copycats with a uh, report of violation speed removals with project zero and you can also add transparency codes so amazon blocks counterfeits now let's put the pieces into a practical workflow that you can execute first qualify and apply confirm your trademark type brand name match and uh, packaging image submit at a brand services.amazon.com and complete email verification and second optimize your listing with a plus content with the mentions and uh, you can also add some compatibility and set up visuals publish a clean brand store with a best sellers page and a comparison table ensure your main image is a uh, crisp on white and your title is specific and keyword aligned now two quick examples a home goods uh, brand added a plus content a three page store and sponsored brands video after enrollment their ctr and conversion rate improved on uh, main keywords and the store captured add on purchases from comparison modules lifting total revenue meaningfully without uh, even raising the ad spend and a beauty brand reviewed item comparison and alternate purchases through brand analytic reports identify two dominant competitors and launch product targeting via, uh, with benefits forward images and the a cost dropped on those placements because they intercept buyers at the decision moment with a stronger value story to recap the video brand registry does three things for your business it raises conversions with a plus content stores and richer ads it improves decisions with brand analytics and experiments and promotions so you can target precisely and it protects your assets with enforcement tools and uh, serialization that deter bad actors use these together and you will lower ad cost per purchase reduce returns from uh, confusion grow average order value uh, through bundles and stores and defend your listing more effectively all right so we have discussed in this video that how you can uh, register your trademark with amazon brand registry and that how you can get a serial number how you can fill in the brand amazon brand registry form and what are the benefits and how you can use those if you still have any sort of questions regarding amazon brand registry or you are struggling with this you can drop down into the comment section i'll uh, help you out